morning, even though this is called the Chronicles of Nadia, my God stories, um, this is not chronological because I'm going back 10 years in time after my first two Chronicles. I had a very, I almost want to say abnormal fear to have a, a baby that wasn't normal. And I always, always had this huge desire to have a son. So when I was on the theater table being injected, um, I had an epidural seizure, I spoke to God and he said, all will be well. He said those words three times in my life when I was fearful. And at first, all did not seem to be well. Well, this time it really took like 25 years, seriously. <laughs> so the gynecologist said this is going to be another goal. So I didn't expect for this boy to be born and I was so joyful. I didn't sleep that entire night. I called him Reynard, which in my language means pure at heart. I think it's the most beautiful name there is. And Reynard now, after 25 years, turned out to be my soulmate, my best buddy, and such an enormous blessing in my life. Just mind-boggling. He's still not healed. At the age of two and a half, I got bad news from every corner in one week. First, the nursery school said, he's not doing well with the party trading. I must have his eye tested. I must have his ears tested. And then I went to the doctor with my daughter. And Reynard acted very strange. There was a brass vase with a carnation on the doctor's desk and Reyna just couldn't leave this vase alone. He kept going for it, kept grabbing it and I was so embarrassed. So by the time we left the doctor's uh, surgery, he looked at Reyna with this whimsical look on his face and he said, I'm worried about this little bloke. I think he's suffering from some syndrome. I wasn't far from home and you know what? I cried for one full hour. My worst fears became reality. And after I cried for one hour, I remembered the words of the love prophet, Charlotte Cronker. She said she sounded like she was quite a bit of a, a troubled child. And often her parents had to go um, to school, to the office, and they would leave with her in the middle of the two of them holding her hands. And they would not admonish her, or speak negative or criticize or judge, they would just say one day, you're going to make a huge difference in this world. And she said, speak things into your children's lives. And you know what? I sat down and I prayed. And afterwards, I actually often thought, why those six things? Couldn't I have thought of this and this and that and that? Well, it's not too late, right? And I'm still doing it. But back then, I prayed that God would give him a musical, artistic, and dramatic um, talent. Because that is what my daughter and I had. And frankly, it is a blessing. And then I asked that he will have a remarkable ability with his hands and an outstanding memory and a love that will touch people's lives. When he was 13, before I took him out of the school to do homeschooling with him, I spoke to his teacher, who uh, was also in ministry with her husband, and I told her about the six things I spoke into his life. And she said, after she told the day, she said, you know what? He's got all of that. And it's true. Since the moment I spoke it into his life, these things started to manifest. Other people um, 
talk about the law of attraction. Know it? I talk about the power of words, that sound is the most powerful atom in the universe and that God spoke the universe into being. He said, let there be light and there was light. And since we are made in His image, He has put that same power in our tongue. I remember a church that I attended once said that the words of God are as powerful on your lips as it is on His. Well, I realized today that those six things that I spoke into Reynard's life was from God. And that was exactly what God wanted me to proclaim over his life. So no matter what is going on in your children's lives, don't look at what you see. Look with the eyes of faith and start to speak God's will into being in their lives. Love that troubled child of yours. I love my son unconditionally. And if there's anything that he has learned, and that is unconditional love, is such a blessing in my life. So I hope that this, so I hope this have encouraged you. So I hope this has encouraged you. Be blessed in Jesus' name.